the pair of anguish, an instrument inserted into the victim's mouth, anus or vagina, and then expanded by means of a screw mechanism causing internal damage and immense pain. Allegedly used in medieval Europe, while specific detailed records are sparse, the device is mentioned in several historic texts on torture. The Spanish donkey, or the Spanish horse, a triangular wooden board where the victims were forced to sit, often with added weights to their feet, causing severe pressure and pain to the groin area. Used during the Spanish Inquisition and in other European regions, documented in Inquisition records and torture manuals. The breaking wheel. Victims were tied to a wheel and their limbs were shattered with a hammer or iron cudgel. They were often left alive for days to die from shock and dehydration. This was used in medieval and early modern Europe with many accounts from the time documenting this application. The rack. This device stretched the victim's body, dislocating joints and causing immense pain as limbs were pulled from their sockets. This was used extensively during the Spanish Inquisition and in medieval England. Numerous historical records and drawings detail its use. The Judas Cradle. Victims were slowly lowered onto a pyramid-shaped seat with the point inserted into their anus or vagina, causing extreme pain and eventual death through infection or impalement. This was documented in medieval Europe with illustrations and descriptions found in various historical torture manuscripts. Rat Torture. A metal container with rats was placed on the victim's abdomen and heat was applied to the container, forcing the rats to burrow through the victim's flesh to escape. This was allegedly used in Europe during the Middle Ages. Specific documentation is scarce, but the method is depicted in literature and folklore from the period. Impalement. A stake was driven through the victim's body, often avoiding vital organs to prolong suffering. This method was notorious for its brutality and effectiveness in causing prolonged pain. Most famously associated with Vlad the Impaler in the 15th century, with detailed historical accounts of his reign and methods of torture. Sawing. The victim was hung upside down and sawed in half starting from the groin. The inverted position ensured the victim remained conscious longer, as blood rushed to the brain prolonging their agony. This was used in various cultures, including by the Romans and during the medieval period in Europe. Descriptions of this method appear in medieval torture records. The Brazen Bull An ancient Greek device where the victim was placed inside a hollow brass bull and a fire was set underneath. The metal would heat up, roasting the victim alive. Their screams would be converted into sounds resembling a bull's bellowing. This was recorded by the historian Diodorus Siculus. And finally, scathism, a Persian method where the victim was confined within a hollowed out log or boat, force fed milk and honey, and left to suffer from severe diarrhea. This attracted insects that would consume the victim's flesh, leading to a prolonged and agonizing death. This was documented by the ancient Greek historian Plutarch, who described it as one of the most excruciating methods of execution. <laughs>